Uh-oh, Nisco's bringing in Microsoft again. I think something's wrong. I only ever think about bargain games from the Switch, Steam Library, and PlayStation Store, but never Xbox. That's all you. The thing is, I barely find... These are deals I found ages ago. And this game is $5 naturally, so let's go ahead and play. Well, we, we honor all deals here at Bargain Bin Lounge. Absolutely. 2008. My God. So, if you don't know what this is, uh, to you, UDJ, or to you, the audience, this was a game that came out to kind of hype up the release of Fable 2, and everything you unlock in this game is sent over to your profile in Fable 2. This game is 15 years old. <clears throat> Yeah, I remember going to GameStop and picking up my copy of Fable 2. So many years ago. You got hot, fresh deals and dusty old ones, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, there's a lot of dust on this one. I'm actually really happy that I didn't have to dig out my 360. A lot of the games that you downloaded back in the 360 days, you can re-download on your current Xbox system, so Series X or Xbox One, which is very nice. I would hope this one would work, yeah. it being made by Microsoft and all. Absolutely. So what you could do is you could use a lot of pre-made heroes, or as soon as you got Fable 2, you could bring in your own hero and have them gamble their life away and go into massive debt. Ah, oh, you know, I played Fable 2 and, and, uh, and I beat it too. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that ending kind of limp dick? <laughs> oh, all three, all three of those endings? Yeah, they all sucked. <laughs> I think we, we could bring in uh, my character, who was a big, uh, I think she was a big barbarian lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, she died a whole lot, so she had a whole bunch of scars lining her body. Mm-hmm. Because once I realized the game doesn't exactly punish you for dying, I was like, well, let's just go through it yeah, then. Th there's Damn not what I look like. Yeah, there's not a lot of... Uh, you d nothing ha really happens when you die. In Fable 1, you just had to reload your save. Easy. In Fable 2, it's like, oh, you got a scar. No, don't you feel bad now because oh, no! that's, you know, that, that death will never go away. My, yeah, but I'm still playing. Fuck you. My perfect hero's face. <laughs> so there are three pub games that we can play. Uh, Fortune Tower is the best. I love this game. It is super addictive and you get to play with the odds. I love that. Uh, Keystone is basically your roulette table, but not really. And Spinner Box is pure luck. So what do you want to do? Uh, we'll just go down the list, I guess. We'll start with Fortune's Tower. Yay! So, while you're playing this game, you gain experience based on how much money you get from your bets. You start out low, and eventually you get up to, oh, you can bet 1,500 gold every single time. That's great. Oh, I can bet entire countries over a game of cards. Exactly. Uh, the red decks are pretty easy decks. The odds are really in your favor. The odds start to dwindle, and then they go really mean, and you're just trying to get a lot of money. So why don't we just start out small, and that way I can teach you how to play this game because it's really cool. What makes you think I'm gonna play this game? Well, you're gonna help me. Uh, what? You're gonna let me know if you want me to hit or not. Uh, so it's like blackjack. Yep. Uh, we're gonna go full bet just because. Uh, uh, okay. So what this game is, is you have, I believe it was eight or ten of every single number card and four hero cards. Basically, what you don't want to have happen is, once you flip the next one, if there was a matching number that touched that three, it would be burned. That's where your top card comes in. Your top card comes in to the rescue on a burned card, and you can continue. If you don't have that top card anymore, that's where heroes come in, they stop burns as well. So, for example, let's go one more. There's a burn. There's two burns. We lose. Uh-huh. So, you're trying to get as much as you can, bigger number, bigger payout. But when, those two... When you get duplicates, it doubles the amount. God damn it. Alright, we're sitting pretty with uh, 16 gold right here. Do you want to keep going, or do you want to back out? I mean, what are the odds that we're going to get a bunch of twos on the next row? Well, I think we got to put those odds to content. Yeah, uh, well, well, all right, cool. I mainly love this one because of the music in the background. It just makes me think I'm at a renaissance fair. I never thought I would ever miss Gwent. God damn it. It's 
See, I've had opportunities where the amount has been tripled, quadrupled, and we lost again. So, very easy to lose money in this game, as you can see, but pretty decent payout once we actually get to the bottom, if we ever make it there. See, that was almost cool. That's not cool. Hero, please. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go Let's go into debt. Uh, let's see. I want all the chips you're allowed to give me. What? Okay, cool. What? Yeah, so there was a funny thing that happened with this game. You could go massively into debt and then give it to your brand new hero in Fable 2. It was very funny. <laughs> it's like you grow up to an adult and it's like, what the fuck? Where did all this debt come from? Exactly. Now I'm actually going to deal out so you can see what the rest of the game is. Okay, we would have lost at that run. Uh -huh. The main thing is to get all the way to the bottom and have eight cards turned up. There is such thing as a jackpot in this game, where you get all the way down to row eight and your top card is still available. That's a jackpot. So what was I playing in 2008? Mass Effect, mostly. Mass Effect was... Like, Mass Effect wasn't that big of a deal for me. Fable was a big deal for me. I think I think I was Tales of Asperia in my way as well. I was big into that. That was back when your uh, 360 still worked. It still works. The one I have now, I mean. But, yeah. <laughs> I've only ever had to deal with one red ring. Thank the lord. Okay, there we go. There you go, hero. Thanks for saving my cards. God bless it. All right, cashing out. Yeah, we would have lost. I, I, you know, I don't. I, I don't think I like this one. We are getting such bad. Are you bad luck? I don't think I've ever seen it burn this much. The the confusion is certainly not uh, adding to our okay to our to our odds. I don't think. All right, well, let's speed it up. Yeah, oh, speed speed gambling, perfect. Yeah, exactly. Hit me. Hit me. Damn it! Yeah, figures when Peter Molyneux decides a card game that looks like this. Darn it, we should have done the Kinect game. I have the capabilities to do that. And I picked it up for like three dollars. <laughs> another day. <laughs> another, another day. An another week. We got plenty of time and plenty of bargains at the Bargain Bin Lounge Well, well what do you think we're doing for my second game next week? <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right. Well, this is your taste of the tower here. I really like it just because you can get really good at it and there is an achievement for getting a jackpot. Can I tell you how I basically went into the Matrix for this game at one point? You, you, you became Neo to win this? I, I was so in tune with this game, I could tell when I was going to get a jackpot. Because there is a small bit of lag when it turns over the last row for a jackpot. I was like, oh, I won. Hey, look at that. Okay, we can deal with this. Yeah, win big. Uh, Take or, or uh, keep going. You think we could do one more line? We've got duplicates there. It would take a, well. We're currently paying out for 68. That's pretty good when we our initial bet was 30. You know, I don't care. Go for it. Go for it! No! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was the worst possible oh, hand that could have happened. Oh, it's smoldering! The whole thing's on fire! All right, we're out of here. Later! <laughs> okay. Okay, that was a good example of Fortune's Tower. Time for Keystone. All right, time for Molyneux Dice. Molyneux Dice. Here's your Keystone board. So, the first round of betting is on any of the arch pieces. Uh-huh. So, which would you like to put on? Uh, lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. I'm just gonna go max bet for everything. Okay. Uh, as soon as you put a bet on one of the keystone pieces, you go for the inside bets. Inside bets. The one caveat of this game is if the three or the 18 or the 10 and the 11 go away, uh, let's, those two pairs, I should say, the game is over. So if 10 and 11 go away, the entire thing falls apart, basically, is what they're trying to visualize. Mm, All right, okay. so what do you think? Where are we going? Oh, we got seven over there, so let's go 12-17 for the other side there. 12-17? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. All right, next bet. Uh, anywhere else? Do you want to see if we can get some uh, some triples over here? Or? Um, Put some in pair. Put some in pair? All right. 
Um, I'm gonna place a bet on 18, 18 okay. and three. Okay. That way, it's a it's a massive payout because I believe. Uh, sorry, it's the odds. There are your odds, and there's the payout. What's what's 68 and two? 68 and two is Tri trips. Trips. You know what? Fuck okay. it. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, throw the dice. Trip. Oh. Wow, a ten. A ten. All right. And then it counts everything that it counts for. <gasps> and all the money goes away. That's alright, that's right. You know what? Gambler fallacy. <laughs> uh, we'll go It'll work this time, I swear. We'll go a pair again, uh, and you know what? We'll do a run. Do a run, okay. A any specific numbers? Like uh, nah. I'm, no I'm, numbers? I'm not that confident for specific numbers. Uh, how about, uh, just I mean, because? I mean, I'm, I have seven as my specific number right okay. now. That's, that's... That's what I'm sticking with there. I'm gonna go out of pocket and just say, uh... Circle. Let's go! That'd be like 5, 9, 13, and 17, and Wow, 15. 7! Damn it, that could've been your lucky number, but hey, it was! It was! Give me money! Yeah! I think we just made our money back from the initial, there <laughs> the you initial go. bet. There you go. Not bad. Alright, place your bet. Alright, uh... What are you thinking? Okay, now it's time to focus on yeah, actual... Yeah. Alright, so... So I'm going by Catan rules because seven was the most uh, popular number there. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the easiest number to get there. So yeah, and you can you can still do initial numbers even though they don't have a keystone piece. That was just for a little extra cash. Right. Well, let's put some into seventeen then. Seventeen. All right. Some people got a number. That's that one's mine. All right. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a pair just for the fun of it. And since you have seventeen, I'm gonna help out with that. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's not 17. That's not, that's not 17 at all. That's a run, though! God bless it! That's like nothing we got. Alright. Thank you, Keystone. Alright, this is just, like... This is this is like roulette. Yeah. Except in, instead of a wheel, it's dice. That's and, a, and it's also very hard to win. There, there, that's, a la roulette! Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty simple. That's, that's, a, that's, that's like a... Alright, it's roulette, but let's replace something mm -hmm. and change what's... Not, that... I get that. I do kind of like the the keystone angle. I think there is a pretty decent payout for getting the three and the eighteen. Here we go. I don't know what the hell uh, the that first game Woo! was. That right there, my friend, was fun. <laughs> fun. Really, it sounds to me like it was mixing solitaire and heroin. Fun. <laughs> I don't know why we were having such horrific luck with that one, but. We got burned on that one! It's alright, it's alright. I've got plenty of money to spare. <laughs> Never gonna pay it back. No, my next character has plenty of money Precisely, to spare. Precisely, yes. Uh, another thing that happens is, if there isn't a keystone above your number, it goes to the next available one. Throw it on 12. Throw it on 12? Okay. I'm liking 12. I like 12 too. I like the cut of 12's jib. Let's see, that's also a diamond. Okay. Big money, big money. Yeah. Oh. God no. damn it. <laughs> I thought it was a 12. It was off by one. But it was just a one. All and right. another one. All right, new keystone board. You're gonna need more money. Don't worry. I know a guy. At least I will know a guy. <laughs> hey, can I have uh, everything? <laughs> Thank you. All right. What, what's your number? Just put it on the next sucker who fucking... <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> Might as well! Because <laughs> nothing matters! So do you know what's hilarious? It doesn't matter! I, I'm actually I'm actually planning on playing Fable 2 on stream, and I think I'll give all the debt to that character. <laughs> that sounds pretty funny, honestly. <laughs> we call this the content run! <laughs> I think I'll go through my entire grand here. <laughs> gambling problems? Call 188-HELP. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no, fine, it's fine. I don't have any gambling problems when I have your gambling solutions! I believe I have a gambling issue, not a problem. <laughs> and Come a on. subscription for two years! And that is a beautiful board if I've ever seen one. What do you think? Oh, now's a perfect time to roll trips. Absolutely. To, to get a four, a four, uh, 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 what is it? Yeah, four, four, and a four. That'd be great. Four, four, and four, go! Fuck yeah! 
There's your 12! Bam, 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 bam! Oh my god, this payout's gonna be huge. Oh my god, yeah, we, we got, got some concept, concept art! art! <laughs> yeah, you gradually unlock things for this game, Fable 2 concept art. It's it's pretty neat. It's also based on your ranking, so right now... Uh, <laughs> you, sir, you wasted so much money on putting chips on, and you only made about 30% of your, uh, of your uh, tip back. <laughs> It's fine. You know what, whatever. Here's a picture about what the pub was going to look like in development. Thank you! Alright, Spinner Box is the one I'm least familiar with, so let's go. Uh, place your bet. I'm gonna put- I'm gonna go You wanna know kid. Cow and Corset, Tower of Riches, Flower Garden, or Banquet Hall? Dude, you know me. You know- you know what I'm gonna go with. You got it. Cow and Corset. The first time you played Spinner Box. Actually, yes, because I don't know how to You've play Spinnerbox. You've never played Spinnerbox? On this, uh, so on I this, did right. I did way back in the day, but this is a brand new save file, even though the exact same. Welcome to Spinnerbox! All right, so we got flit switches. It's a magical spinner that will randomly cycle through a, ver a variety of symbols. Just place your bet and spin. All right. Max bet, then. Max bet. 20. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, raise your bet to six gold and then spin. All right, so this is still tutorial. All right. Oh, I, I see. Oh, it's literally just chance. It's the slots. It's slots. It's Molyneux slots. Oh, that's awesome. A chain is two or more adjacent symbols of the same type. When a chain appears, you win the amount of gold based on which symbols. Okay. Ten gold. I have a feeling they're gonna let me win. This is my taste. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Two houses and a cow and corset? Well. Holy shit, that was 30 gold for that? Three switches, some have four, and some have six. Bigger boxes mean better chains. That's what the other unlockable ones are. They are bigger. All right. Ten. Bet. Huh. Oh, my lord. You only wish you could be this good in the real world, kid! Holy crap, I wish I could, like, keep redoing the tutorial and get that money, but I have a feeling they're gonna take it away after this. Some spinners have symbols that enhance the game instead of simply paying out gold. On Cow and Corset, when you get a chain of three bonus symbols, a fourth will appear in the middle, and whatever you get adds to your payout. Neat. Zoom. Oh my god, you won! Yeah, here's the big one. Whoa! Skadoosh. Wow, that cow paid me a hundred bucks. Anyway, cash or credit. <laughs> On the four switch box, every coin symbol will earn you a free spin. I forgot they added free spins to this, so yes, totally the slots. Yep. Hell yeah. Crowns will pay out. Oh, a payout multiplier. I think one of the achievements is winning, like, 10,000 in one go on Spinnerbox. I'll have to check those out, because I did get all the achievements way back in the day. God, I don't know how. Oh, three times multiplier. All right, go. Hold the left trigger to see the list of payouts. Oh, okay, okay. Usual stuff. Just one more, man. Come on, one more. Just give me one more. Yeah, if you get all four, that's 27 times? Something like that. 27 times 400 equals... That's a lot of money. A, a, a lot of money. That's quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of cheddar. All right, I'm ready. All right, so max bet everything. Gotcha. Max bet. Max debt. Max debt? More like max somebody else's problem. Go! <laughs> it's great. Go again. <laughs> Wait a minute. The tutorial didn't set me up for failure. <laughs> it seriously didn't. Oh, dear lord. So this is basically, all right, we got him hooked. Now really fuck him up. Take all of his money. Oh my god, please. So my grandma was a real big uh, fan of Vegas. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Her, her and my grandpa would used to go all the time. And she'd come back with, like, souvenirs sometimes. One of them was, like, this Caesar's Palace, like, little slot machine. Like, like yes. it, 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 it was like a penny slot machine. You could put, like, you know, little nickels in there, and it would... It would, it would spin like real fast. It was cool, and there's like, yeah. like five and all that. That's how they get you. And then I learned that you can just kind of move the slot so it can actually just do all that. Oh, I, I, I cheated the system. Now speaking of cheating the system, I can't wait to have infinite money from this. 
How's that gonna happen? Uh, they'll probably be around the heat death of the universe, I'm sure. Most likely, yeah. If I keep pressing A, eventually something has to happen. Nope, just me going into Void <laughs> Oh my god! Hey! Oh my god, we got something! Yeah! Bam! 200 what? gold! More dice! Oh my god. I, I feel kind of good about that. Off of 10 gold, I got 200. Shish! That's insane! Did I ever tell you the moment I found out I had a gambling problem? Specifically with slots. Was it this game? No, it wasn't this game. When I graduated high school, uh, Dad took me and the family on a cruise. Uh, you were allowed in the in the uh, gambling room if you were 18, and uh, look at me, I was 18. Probably the worst part is, uh, everything was on my dad's dime on a card. All you had to do was swipe a card, and there you go, use money. The flashing lights got to me for a while, and I was so close to winning that I just had to try one more time. It wasn't something outrageous like I spent thousands of dollars That's on massive. gambling. Seven thousand dollars! No, I, I told Dad, I was like, hey, I spent some time in the casino accidentally, and I think I spent, like, a little too much, and he took a look, and it was like, seventy-five dollars. Oh, I thought you were gonna be like, you know, three hundred and forty dollars. No, 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 no. Because I knew it was on Dad's dime. That's where I went, uh -huh. okay. Gotcha. It's like, gotcha. I want to gamble, but my dad's hand is on my shoulder, and he's telling me one more. Beep. <laughs> hey, if I was under somebody else's influence to keep gambling, I probably would have. But I'm more of a cards type of guy. Like, I'll play cards with the best of them. I love playing cards. See, I gamble too. It's it's where I take a pistol, I go to a gas station, and I wrap up the place. <laughs> Is the gamble whether you get caught or not? I always lose, though. Oh, uh, that's why I haven't seen you in three months. Yeah, you know. It's just a misunderstanding, man. I had, I had to convince them that Let's Playing is on a work release program. <laughs> <laughs> I was real life Let's Playing Grand Theft Auto, don't you understand? No, it's a video game. It's one more time I got this, I can make it. <laughs> don't I, rob places! I just have to get the right RNG. Of course! <laughs> That's how you do gamer humor. Oh my god, we got a middle thing! Hey! Go! Give I'm me gonna... my money! Thank you, cow! I think this is the best way to get cash, because just that cow gave me everything I owed to the bank and more. So and it, here it goes again. So is this where you just put on a video on YouTube and just mash A and just don't even think about anything? Absolutely, that's what you do. In fact, I might be able to pay off my future hero's debt. Invent a device where you just, you know, have it just keep pressing A and then go to sleep. I might... Mm, nah, I, just, I, I don't want to do that. Come back. What the hell? Integer overload? <laughs> Your number is going outside the little box for amount of money. What did you do? I'm going to import this to my character in Fable 2! Yeah, speaking of importing things to uh, Fable 2, uh, Fable 1, Fable 2, and I believe Fable 3 are all infamous games because you cannot get 100% of their achievements ever again. You had to get them when they were new, and you know the reason why? There are different reasons for every single game. I, I remember the one for Fable 2. It's it's like you needed this, I thought? So, this helps. It gives you accessories, but none of them are needed for all the achievements. Hmm. I think. Uh, we'll, we'll check it at the end of this. Uh, but Fable 2 has another one. A browser game that doesn't exist anymore. Oh. You had to play through and get multiple endings on a browser game, and then you could import the physical items. Not a code! You had to connect to your Xbox via the internet to send those bitches over to your Fable 2 game. And if you missed out on them, those items are gone for good. Is there not a, like a replacement code that you can put in, or is it like a unique code? It wasn't a code. Oh. There were no codes were. involved. You... Wait, it's literally just handshaking with the website? It's literally handshaking with a website. It, ha it worked half the time. I'm surprised I got any of those items. I look back on 2008. Internet, I'm like, how do we live? I don't know! Well, I know I can't get one of the achievements of Fable 2, that's great. Uh, Fable 1, uh, Anniversary, because the original game didn't have achievements. Uh, Fable Anniversary wants you to connect to Smart Glass, whatever the hell that is. 
Smart class! God damn it. Had I had the foresight and been like, oh, it's 2020, there's no way Microsoft's gonna get rid of Smart Glass. I mean, they hit it really well, but I don't think they're gonna get rid of it. Smart Glass is to Microsoft what me versus to Nintendo. Just got rid of it. So, yeah, there goes that. It, do you know how discouraging it is to have 980 gamer score out of 1,000 and just seeing that lovely last achievement and never be able to get it? There's no workaround either. How many nights of sleep have you lost? Well, everybody who was watching the stream knew I was pretty disappointed about it. <laughs> how many hours of ranting? Oh, probably like, I don't know, 15. How, ma how many um, tears shed? Uh, none, because I, I really don't care. How many dozens of angry drafted letters to Microsoft and Lionhead Studios? What's really interesting is the fact that there's no workaround. A lot yeah. of, like, missing online stuff, people have found workarounds. They have created workarounds, but not for any of the Fable games. Even the PC ones? I figured it's easy no. as this. Uh, to content equals yes. Yeah, nothing. Nobody has made any workarounds because nobody gives shit. <laughs> well, I mean, you need to care about yep. the product in order to... Maybe that's why Microsoft's been kind of slow on making the next Fable, because nobody gives a shit. You know who doesn't give a shit about the next Fable? You're looking at him. I could fucking care less. I'm still gonna play it day one just so I can give it a... Oh my god. You know who else doesn't give a shit about the next Fable? Probably everybody else. You're looking at him! Wait. Over here. Oh, over, over here. Over here. here. Like, right there. Me. me. Oh, over here. This guy. Me. me. Over here. Yeah, there you go. Me. Oh, holy shit. 350. All right. Well, that's Fable 2 Pub Games. I think you could still buy it, honestly. Which is hilarious. Really? How much debt am I in? Why don't we see? Yeah, let's, let's take, take a look at my, uh... Uh, how do I do that? Inventory. D it's best you don't know. Oh yeah, here's, uh, here's what you unlock. So, getting, uh... Oh, these are tournaments. Okay. He looks mad at his cornrows. So, getting five stars in a tournament for the different games. One star through five, you can unlock this stuff. And to my knowledge, none of this is for achievements. It is not. Okay. It might be, I just didn't look hard, hard enough. And uh, for getting a bunch of experience points, you get concept art. It's pretty cool. I always love concept art. Love when it's available. <laughs> but uh, did you notice we have to play for 350,000 points to unlock some uh, more concept um, art? No, we don't. No, we do not. <laughs> we do not need to do that. We, let's, <laughs> let's, not, let's not do that, no. All right, pay my debt. Oh, that's not bad at all. Sweet. We huh. did it. There you go. No debt for you, buddy. How are your stats doing? 15,000 for the next le Okay, we're done here. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay, next time on Bargain Bin Lounge, uh, we're gonna be diving again into my Microsoft library, and uh, we're gonna have a... have fun with a game that has all the fanfare. It's my favorite sequel announcement of all time!